In Newcastle, on the afternoon of the 7th, a dense cloud of smoke was seen in the northwest, which obscured the atmosphere. It was known that the woods were on fire, but no danger was suspected, for there was little wind. At 11 o'clock on that day, a messenger rode up to Douglas's headquarters to say that a fire had broken out near the house of Mr. Bailey, the commissioner of Crown Lands. His house on fire? So no, the fire engine and troops. Douglas succeeded in saving the property after about an hour's effort. Suddenly, a second messenger spread up to him, coming from the direction of Fredericton itself. The town's on fire! For God's sake, sir, come at once! The whole town? Troops, return to the city immediately. I'll lead the way. On approaching the city, he saw that the mischief had already gone too far. Forests were set on fire, and hour by hour, they fell and faded, and the crackling chunks extinguished with a crash. All earth was but one thought, and that was death.